Dear Mr. Williams, I am sorry to say that I have just read your letter over tea here in the UK and it troubles me greatly to see that you claim that I endorse your view though you do not know my name or in fact where I live how I think, feel or care you see I am a songwriter and I live, well, everywhere. Did we meet at the Smithson's wedding in May? If we did, my apologies for it's so long it's hard to say. I do appreciate your efforts to speak on my behalf, but the assumptions you make, while in all honesty, made me laugh. You see, as a child, on one Christmas day, I was given a guitar, no unions or subscriptions to pay, I was free just to sit and make all kinds of noise, no authorization needed to play with my toys. But then when older, A&R said, you can't sing or play, mate. And you're not right for us. It's kind of all right. But we don't hear a chorus. So here's a small deal, and we own what you write. And we'll take ours and more before yours, mate. I'm sure that's all right. So then producers and studios got fat on the pot, and I got the bill, and that was all that I got. But I still have my music, and that's a God-given thing, free to anyone who wants to just play and sing. And I'm free to express and share what I please, without you, or your contracts, or your boxes and fees. So Mr. Williams, I am sure you are honourable in most every way, although I remind you the world is the world and is not the USA. Because to that, God owns the copyright, and it is he only and not you who can say when and if the music will dry up for all of us one day.